Aloha, Legacy family, and welcome once again to Witness in a Minute, where the goal is to provide you the tools and encouragement to carry out the Great Commission. Someone once approached a great Bible teacher and said, Sir, I would give the world to know the Bible as you do. The teacher looked at him intently and replied, That's exactly what it will cost you. Romans 12, 2 tells us, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. How can our minds be transformed? I'll tell you how. It happens through the study of God's Word. I read in Acts 17, 10, 11 about those in the synagogue at Berea who, were, who listened very carefully when Paul and Silas showed up. It says that they receive the word with all readiness and search the scriptures daily to find out whether those things were so. I love that they listened eagerly and thoroughly and checked up on what they had to say, and then they believed. They were checking out none other than the Apostle Paul, who was a Bible scholar even before he was a Christian, and he wrote about a third of the New Testament. Yep, that's the right way to listen. Jesus said in John 15, 7, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. The word abide means planting your roots deeply into Christ. That means you study God's word. That means you memorize it, and ultimately it affects your thinking in everything you do. So many people these days are like putting their faith in miracles and prophecies and works of the Holy Spirit, but they're like tumbling weeds blowing from town to town. They have no roots. God's Word is a source that God provides to live out our faith and grow deep roots that will feed us and keep us upright when the storms blow in. So come on family, let's grow in faith by living in God's Word and may God bless your next adventure as you witness in a minute. Aloha.